Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ramose TV. My name is Ramadan, aka Dr. Ramadan from Ramose TV. Aka Dr. Ramose Ramadan in making because I'm still a medical student studying here in Turkey. And today's video, I want to just talk about my experience, my first day experience during the university life of a medical student here in Turkey. So let us get started a bit of my story and challenges which I went through, things which I knew and before I came were wrong and I'm trying to give you some tips, maybe it might help you. These tips, these tips might help you or guide you during your application or during your start time, having good time coming here back to study in Turkey. So, First, I graduated my high school from Tanzania and I got a chance to come and school medicine here in Turkey. So, coming here, my university was offering 30% English, 30% English to do MBBS. And when you say 30%, so when you say university which doesn't have 100%, that means 30%, 7% is Turkish. So, there's a mix of either English and Turkish either slides to be in English and notices to be and teachers explaining Turkish or slides to be in Turkish and teachers explaining in English. That's what I expected. But after coming and I went direct into the university, first of all from outside it's just seen as an English. So those percentage you just find inside the university. But from outside, it's just same an English department, English department, but from inside, is whereby it is how many percentage of English offered. So my university had a 30%, 30% of English taught medicine. Mm -hmm. So I came and the lesson started. When the lesson began, like the day I went to classes and stuff like that, so I was expecting everything, you know, I did my preparation, which they call Hazirlik, preparation automer, which takes a bit of nine months or a year sometimes. So from there is whereby you join the medicine department. So from there, you know, a basics about communication skills on the street and stuff like that. So when I was into the class and you know the basics or the tomato the preparation which you got isn't enough because it isn't based on isn't based on the curriculum terminology and stuff like that or department te terminology and most of them those who benefit most are those who coming who are coming with Turkish government scholarship because those one the uh, preparation takes takes more a bit longer and they learn a lot because they have you know the preparation has level a a a1 a2 like levels like a1 a2 you go b1 b2 then c or c1 c2 then from there they do academic so academic where which means that you learn about academic terminology about the department maybe if you are going to study medicine well, we have medical terminology like okay this one okay this disease or diabetes or everything like that so but if you start as a private student mostly you end up on c which c there is no medical terminology it's just basics which you learn in the street you can just communicate with everyone walking around the street but not in the class so imagine moving from that and direct you enter into the medical department so from there everything was difficult like you see everything in a different way like everything like what you learn and here you just see basics but most of terminology your aren't aware about that so from there you start learning and stuff like that one of the hardest thing which happened is that since they teach 30% English and 70% Turkish in the university. You are more than, maybe let's say, the first year student, maybe 200 or 190 or let's say 100 students. So within 100 students, you might find one, two or three people are foreigners. 
who they need the language they need the department to be taught in english and the rest are turkish so when the professors come in the class at first they ask like who doesn't understand well what i'm i'm speaking or what i'm talking about or who doesn't understand turkish so you can raise up your hand oh sam here but you check the number how many maybe one or two people and the rest 99% maybe 98 student are turkish so they don't know though they study in english but their english isn't that well the same as we foreigners whose our our turkish isn't that well like them we prefer english them they prefer turkish though they study in english because there's one thing here in turkey those people who get high marks they start medicine in turkish those who get a bit low but they can go into medicine they do that in english so the english student mostly are those with a bit of low grades compared to those who are in turkish you find someone is in english department or class why just because they couldn't get maybe one mark to rank him into a turkish class so it goes like that so the hardest part is to convince the people how or the lectures to teach in english because if they teach in english they are only teaching you two students if they teach in turkish they teach 98 students but they don't teach you two students they ignore you your presence and stuff like that your existence like nothing yeah that's all which used to happen and it is real sad so that's why i used to advise most of people who uh, have plans to come and school medicine or different departments if you are into a scholarship because they tell you actually and they choose the language if it's turkish or english so you know you are aware okay i'm going to pursue my department in english i will be pursuing my department in turkish but if if you you come as a private student you see the universities in english you don't research more about everything and you just dive into you apply inside you find percentage of english is low so from there it's hard like to make transfer you know and from here making transfer is real hard it's easy if you just started preparation the exams from here whereby you can enter medicine direct so if you didn't do those one is real hard it needs you to study a couple of years in order to one year then you get the results so by you, you do some transfer so let's go on so the lecture comes in the class and they do that so when they see foreigners are few and they need to teach people you know students they prefer to teach in turkish sometimes they might they might try like to bring the slides in english they they explain in turkish after a time after a time after a time they change completely you find slides are in turkish and they explain in turkish and no slides for english because they get lazy if professors can't prepare maybe slides for you two students or one student in the academic year so every every slide or every powerpoint presentation which he does his preparation he has to translate everything for you a foreigner so it doesn't happen always and it's real hard so though the system is like that but still you can't change it you have no control over it so what you need to do you just need to catch up with that that's why i advise most of people if you want to come and study you need to make sure you know if you control your mind that you're going to pursue everything in turkish you get you switch your mind into that and you can do everything wonderful but if you come you have expectation for english but you didn't research more about english in the university and you find everything is in turkish it will disappoint you a lot and until to catch up with everything it takes time it takes energy it takes everything it is painful trust me it is painful so my advice my little advice is that when you are choosing universities to school mbbs md to school any department here in turkey you need to consider the percentage for english you check the universities the course is taught in english but don't just end up there okay there is an english department no how many percentage do they offer 
if you see a hundred percent at least go that universe though you'll face challenges but they won't be that much harder like if you find the percentage is less than a hundred you find 70 20 50 you know but there are some universe which are strictly maybe is a hundred percent but even if there is one foreign still people or lectures even the school is completely strict to the english they don't have like a fear or mess for or feel sorry for taxi because they don't catch up they stick to the rule they they stick to their rules that the department should be taught in english but some university i tell you it is really depressing depressing so my advice is that so check and apply and i wish you best of luck like that's why i don't wanna mostly talk about someone okay I recommend someone to a certain university and stuff like that because it's real hard if you recommend someone find the difficulties over there then he gonna blame me but my little advice is just to tell people about what what are the points and the cons of everything so that someone you make for your own decision that was all that was more than 10 minutes for today and i'll see you in new coming videos best wishes for all people who want to school medicine here in turkey see you here in turkey bye 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 bye